What is going on everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you guys today to track our first storm and to fly through it guys. We are talking a category 4 hurricane. Uh, as of right now it is Hurricane Ida. I went ahead and pulled it up on the live radar. Uh, also too in the game it's showing that the eye is a little bit askew from where it actually is but that's all right. We'll go ahead and chase this storm anyway. It's about to make landfall. It has not yet. It is a category four. It's uh, 140 miles per hour winds with 161 gusts. Uh, the ground speed is 11 miles per hour. Yeah, a little bit different of a, uh, a path here than uh, in game than what's on the radar. But like I said, we'll go ahead and find it anyway. We're going to go ahead and take off from uh, Huma. Uh, Terrabone and uh, go ahead and just go out basically out this way so if it's showing it it's this way we'll go ahead and be going uh, basically towards I guess mobile so that we kind of have a heading and it should look like we'll be going like right through it alright guys so there we go we've got our flight plan and looks like we're gonna be going through one nasty of a storm this is my first storm too as well so I've never flown in a storm before so category four for our very first time stick around it's Captain Blue Shell well 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell and also, too, guys, this uh, video is not to belittle any storm. I know that they can be devastating uh, storms with very tremendous effects, and I've been through so many of them and have seen so many properties lost and so much damage to as well. So uh, my hearts go out to those that are affected. Um, it has not made landfall as of yet, though, as we said. So um, we'll go ahead, we're going to be flying through it, and it looks already scary as crap. I mean, look at this. Look at where we're starting. This is ridiculous. I went ahead, I chose the Beechcraft King Air, so hopefully this will save us. I highly doubt it. I don't know. Let's go ahead, get right into it. Why are we trapped in the cabinet yet again, as usual? Yeah, I don't know. Like, my, my plane is making, like, completely horrible horrible sounds my plane sounds like it's like falling apart oh my god i don't know where anything is like literally guys i am like out of like we have to try and get above these clouds like it started us like way like way way too low holy crap man like i mean when we were gonna be in the storm i knew we were gonna be in the storm but not like this in the storm right off the bat oh my god it looks like there is like a little bit of a uh, a pathway here so I'm going to go ahead and try to follow it uh, if we can. All right, guys. So I just wanted to go ahead and kind of get my bearings like a little bit uh, with the sky and everything. there. I mean, there are clouds just everywhere. I mean, if you look around us and everything, I mean, look, there is no like nonstop just clouds. And that looks like an angry little piece of clouds down there. So why don't you say we go ahead and just jump right into it, shall we? Let's go ahead get into these uh get into these clouds here little by little i don't know what to expect i don't know what we are going to expect but uh we're gonna go ahead and dive in and just basically just test the waters so hopefully not literally <laughs> all right here we go guys into the dark abyss oh my goodness man my plane is just kind of like just <laughs> it's it's kind of like flying a kite we're still going down we got about uh 17 000 we're at so we're gonna go ahead and just slowly but surely just uh push it down we're not gonna get it into a dive or anything like that so let's go ahead and we're we're kind of like in the outer rims of the storm but uh we'll go ahead and creep up towards the uh towards the eye of this thing pretty soon here these truly are the angriest clouds I have ever seen in my life. I know this is just like a, uh, there's a lightning. I know this is just a simulator, but this is horrifying. Yeah, we're at about uh, 8,000, almost 9,000 feet here, guys. And uh, this is, uh, the storm is picking up wildly, which I mean, honestly, is what we wanted it to do. You know, we kind of wanted to be in the storm kind of getting at it so and here definitely comes the rain and the wind too as well it, it finally took me a little while but i finally got my my wipers to come on uh as it was raining and now it looks like the uh, the rain is letting up <laughs> One, two, four, and in three, case oh wow that was that was, that was not good um, in case if you guys were wondering where the wipers are in the beachcraft king air they are actually way up here and they're right up there on the left side so that's basically where your where your wipers are 
And uh, we are coming into some rain now again, so it's a good thing that we kept them on. And we are currently at 6,000 feet, dropping into the 5,000s. I know that that's pretty dangerous, but uh, danger is my middle name. So guys, we have reached 2,000 feet, and this is literally what the storm looks like at 2,000 feet. I mean, zero visibility, zero nothing. We're in the twilight zone still. <laughs> So since we know what it looks like at around 2,000 feet, we are back here at about 35,000 feet and just cloud coverage everywhere. I mean, we got the blue skies right above us, but man, just everywhere this thing is circling. This is crazy. And this wind is picking up too. I can really feel that. Let's go ahead, try to get back on track because I was kind of moving a little bit away from the storm. Uh, at the uh, 2,000 feet and it wasn't like we just knew zero visibility. <laughs> Alright guys, so I went ahead and went for uh, approach and I mean like this is not going well at all. My windshield wipers are like having a seizure. My runway is way over there. It is literally blowing me all the way over like I cannot control the plane. And it's yeah, the runway is now down below us and I don't know everything is completely askew. The wind is just completely overtaking our plane. This is not good. Yeah, I mean, this has to be near, more near towards the storm because this is absolutely ridiculous, man. And there, guys, we have our first ever visual we've ever had in the game. Are we, is this, is this the eye? Wait, are we seriously in the eye of it right now? I think we may be in the eye. I think this is the eye of it. Holy crap, dude. All right, guys, hold on. So I guess we'll go ahead and just like hit the wall and just try to keep, <laughs> try to keep flying through. I don't know as if we can or not, but I'm pretty like, I am pretty certain that that was the eye that we just went through. And now we're going through yet another wall of it. Oh yes. Yeah, that's exactly what is going on. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice that we track the eye and everything. You know, it truly is. But like, this is, <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, we are back through just like the most like horrible, <laughs> like the most horrible weather just to like try and fly through. This is crazy. Whoa. Did you guys see that? Whoa. Oh my goodness, man. This is, some, this is some pretty wicked stuff going on. All right, guys, so I went ahead and decided since we already flew through what was to be the eye of the storm, I mean, it, it had to have been, uh, we're going to go ahead and be taking off in our jet here too as well, see how that goes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure why they put me into a uh, into a field, but they did, and I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that. I don't know where to take off. I don't know where there's a runway or anything. Uh, basically, I tried to choose the airport that I thought was going to be a great idea. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, this is it. So let's go ahead and try, I guess, to take off from the, uh, from the field. It's probably over there. There's probably a, like a runway like right next to us, but I don't care. We're going to go ahead and get up off the ground here. Come on, we, we have to make this tree line. We have to make this tree line. Come on, come on, we gotta, we gotta go. Oh my goodness, oh my god! <laughs> oh jeez, the wind is just bouncing us all, all around, man. Oh my, I, I, I don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like this. I wanted to get into something that can like, you know, kind of rise above the clouds a little bit more and everything. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can actually see some uh, some cloud coverage and everything, all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at these clouds though, man. This is just crazy. This is absolutely just, I mean, it's already giving me like a wild ride here though too. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is an incredible storm. I mean, it just, it really is. Look at the clouds. Like there are clouds above the clouds. <laughs> And I mean, we, oh my goodness, dude. My airspeed is all kinds of out of whack. And uh, I mean, the, the clouds are just absolutely, this is just getting crazy. I'm trying to battle to get like control of my airplane again. And um, the airspeed, like my plane is literally just rocking me wherever the wind takes me. So um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to go back the other way. 
because I think the other way is uh, where we found the eye before. I don't know if this is a very good idea, but as you can see, my yoke and my plane are completely not matching up. <laughs> yeah, dude, the wind is uh, the wind is absolutely crazy. I mean, I was expecting a lot of wind, but um, like our our jet is like having a lot of trouble. Maybe I should go ahead and climb above these clouds too as well. I mean, that's something to kind of look towards, I guess. And we can kind of see down through the clouds just a little bit. I, I don't know what's going on here or anything, but we're going to be going uh, uh, through that in just a second if we can. So hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully we will not lose our plane. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go ahead and make our climb to hopefully get out of here and get out of this way. I don't know if we can get above this, uh, this cloud coverage or if that's just the sky. It's probably just the atmosphere. We're gonna be SpaceX. We're just, you know, we're billionaires. <laughs> we made it in life. <laughs> we are at 20,000 feet currently, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, get this leveled out a little bit more. Um, it's still kind of fighting me. Not as bad, though. Not nearly as bad as when we were taking off. That was some brutal, hardcore stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get above this uh, this cloud coverage and see if we can see the clouds from uh, from above it. You can also see, I don't I don't really know if this is ice, I think it's ice, uh, up on the windows and everything too as well. So, um, luckily, I'm a coward, so I don't really have to de-ice. De there we go, guys, there we go. Now we are out of the, uh, the cloud coverage. We can see some of the cloud walls, and oh my god, that thing goes up for, like, for miles here. But yeah, that is... <laughs> <laughs> that, that is quite a storm, guys. Oh my god. I mean, like, look at these. They're mountains. They are literally just mountains of clouds. Uh, we're currently at 25,000 feet and climbing, so I think we could be able to uh, to get up and over here. All right, guys, so we are back at it. Uh, I gained a little bit of elevation here. I don't think it's going to be enough to be going through. I mean, these clouds are just super super high up just super tall but i mean from what i've seen with the storm so far absolutely incredible i love that this game can do this i love that the game can actually integrate the weather and even though it's not 100 percent accurate they don't go by you know 100 percent of the weather radar you kind of have to guess where the storm is sometimes but it's <laughs> personally i think that's what kind of puts the fun in it and kind of puts the fun into you know actual storm hunting so i mean i think i'm i'm having a blast with this like i truly am yeah i mean i don't think we're gonna be able to see the uh, the cloud coverage from the uh, the elevation or anything because i think you could probably see it from space <laughs> but uh man what a uh, like what a beautiful way to go ahead and integrate your game uh, with the weather and everything. Like I said, it's a little bit askew and off, but absolutely under the circumstances, breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. I love the technology. I love the design that you can actually do this. And in my opinion, it is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, like I'm at 40,000 feet right now and uh, we still can't really see like anything. Uh, still no real like cloud coverage as we can find and we're about to be going through even more clouds So this is I mean what what an amazing incredible storm this has been and like I said integration Absolutely on point. So I had a blast with you guys and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Thank you guys for sticking around and uh, I'll see you guys on the next aviation Hopefully not stormy adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out